Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add drop shadow to shape in Canva. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you add a drop shadow here into a shape in Canva. So typically when we add photos here, just to give you an idea, let's go and add a photo, you'll have that edit option here. So whenever you click on it, you can choose shadows in the effect section and basically just adding a shadow. But the thing here is if you want to do this, the, uh, this in this case, the, the shadow or drop effect shadow on a shape, it might be kind of hard. So in this case, let's go to elements. We want to go to see all in the shapes option and maybe we want to add a circle. Now in this circle, we can change a few things like you can add text within ins uh, inside of it. You can change the color of the actual shape here and do of uh, do other stuff here. But if you click on the edit button at the top left here, it just gives you the option to change your shape, which in this case doesn't allow you to add a drop shadow. Now the thing with images and shapes in Canva here, think of shapes as the primal uh, or in this case, the, uh, the most basic thing that you could do or add or adjust here. Since say, shapes here, you can change your colors or there's a bunch of customizations you could do. You can even add text. Canva has authority over the properties within it, but the thing here is you can you you can't apply any effects on it. But how do we add drop shadows? Uh, in this case, I'll be showing you a trick here that you can use. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to add your shape here to any projects that you have. So as long as, long as it has a white background here, and you can go and add your text images that you want to use. So go ahead and just do that. Type anything you want. But once you've done that, let's go and click on share at the top right here. And by the way, make sure that you have a white background. Now you want to go and click on download. Now from here, you want to go and select the transparent background here. But if you do not have the premium plan here or the upgrade plan here for Canva, you won't be able to use this. So I'll be showing you alternative later on. Let's go and click on download. And once our file is downloaded, as you can see, let's go open up this up in the downloads folder. As you can see, we have our shape. Now, how do we remove the background? Because we, we need to really remove the background to make sure that the shape is, or in this case, will appear properly. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to Adobe's uh, official website. This is actually a free tool that Adobe has to offer. So you need to search for uh, remove background Adobe. So you just need to search for that. So just give an idea. This is what I search. So Adobe background remover, click on the first link that you see there. Now in this case, let's go and click on upload your photo. Let's go and choose our PNG file here. Click on open. It's going to start uploading that photo and start pressing and removing that background. Now, what you could do here is you just need to click on download. Now, it might ask you to sign up or sign in. So go ahead and just click on sign up or sign in. But since I already have an account here, I want to go and sign in. Now, you could use your Google or Facebook or Apple account to create your account here. So it makes it a lot easier for you. So signing up is for, uh, fairly fast and easy. So you just need to uh, fill out all the details here and proceed on the next pages. So just click on create account here. And from here, it should start creating our account and it should open up our Adobe or our background for that file. So as you can see, we now have file.png, which we what we got from uh, the Adobe website. Let's go ahead and go back into Canva. Let's go open up our download folder and we have that file.png. Now this is going to be, or this one is now the transparent photo. So once we go back into uploads and drag it into our Canva project. Now, by the way, at this point, you could go and remove the shape that we just added here. And you could go ahead and go to the uploaded photo here. Let's go ahead and drag it in here. You can go resize this one. But the difference now here is we now have the edit photo at the top left. Let's go and click on this one. And from here, you want to go to shadows, which now we could access and you could go and add whatever shadow that you want. Well, you could use backdrop here, glow, drop or outline, change the size and color here if you want to. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.